imagine a world where you don't have a lot of money. You're a band director, and you're tired of asking for more money. Enter the Overture series from Black Swan. So we get a lot of people asking about budget-friendly, entry-level. Recently, Black Swamp just came out with some products that are called the Overture Series. And the Overture Series is, in my opinion, not entry-level. It is a budget product, meaning that it won't cost you a lot of money. So they're not gonna be your custom tambourine. They're not gonna be your exotic wood block. Coco Bolo wood. And the castanets aren't gonna be made with some sort of wood that you can't pronounce. But what's cool about them is that they sound great. And isn't that what we're really after as percussionists anyway? Great sounds at a price point we can afford? You know how many times I hear college kids say, I just can't afford it. It costs so much. Can I borrow it from the studio? Stop saying you can't afford the gear. The wood block is like 16 bucks. Does that mean it sounds bad? Of course not. You know Black Swamp. Some of their other stuff is up here. You know the products that they make. You know their craftsmanship. And Overture has that. But... This one won't cost you as much. So let's stop talking about these instruments. Let's take a listen and you can decide if this Overture series is budget or something that you're gonna purchase from Steve Weiss Music today. Let's check it out. We'll check out the smallest block first. So this is the smallest Overture block. It's got these little grommets on the bottom, if you notice, so that if you put it on a flat surface like this, you get a nice resonance still. Um, you can see the finish is, is really well done. Uh, looks like a lacquer all the way around. You can even see the really nice wood grain. I love that. Even just touching it, you can feel that there's some resonance from the block, which is really cool. Um, a nice sensitive block made out of a nice hardwood. So uh, that smallest block here is six and a half inches long and it's got uh, two and a quarter in terms of width. Same thing as we get onto this medium sized block. Again, looking good. Looks like about eight inches long. Width wise, you've got two and a half inches there. And then finally, this largest block. If you look at that uh, wood grain there, gotta love that. And size wise, this is nine and three quarters inches long. And width wise, it's uh, two and three quarters inches. So they've got kind of like a nice sequential size going with these blocks. I almost wish that there was a fourth block, like kind of right in between. Maybe something to think of Black Swamp, who knows? But they sound really great. You'll hear them on the video. These are the blocks. So the next thing we're gonna check out is the castanet machine, which is really cool. So like I said, I already unboxed this. Um, so you don't get the magic of seeing it, but a cool feature kind of to, to keep in mind with this castanet machine is that first on the bottom, symbol stand attachment, uh, which is cool. Um, another notable feature, adjustable action for each of these, which on budget models, I feel like you don't see very often, or you see them with like the strings and things that are, are breakable, where it's got this kind of metal ribbon that adjusts, really a cool design. So I'll give you a close-up here of that. Uh, if you look at the side, really nice wood grain on the plies. Again, rubber feet. Here's a close-up again on that uh, symbol, symbol stand attachment. Um, really just a nice looking product. Um, and you'll hear that they, they sound really great. Just listen to the pitch matching with, this is not the greatest microphone setup, but just, just listen. Pretty similar. And I was kind of, you can see these are a little bit out of sync, but I was messing around with these earlier just to test the action. And you do get just a, the slightest, slightest pitch difference. They actually just released a video on their Instagram the other day and, and you could hear how matched every set of these is. It's really a quality control thing, which is, is amazing to me. So let's check out the tambourine next. The tambourine is so consistent with some of the higher priced Black Swamp products. Um, just to, for starters, comes with your standard uh, tambourine wax that you get from Black Swamp usually. Um, with all their models, comes with the same exact bag. So if you see here, same bag you get with their highest quality um, uh, tambourines. Uh, it's a nice bag. Um, and then this actual tambourine product that you see here, it's really great for a lot of reasons. So the first one, 
It has a synthetic head, and this to me feels like a, I could be wrong, but it seems like a, uh, a Remo Renaissance or like an Evan Strata. Um, it, it's that synthetic head, uh, which is great for either band rooms or uh, percussionists that don't have a great temperature controlled or humidity controlled environment. As we get up a little bit closer, these are brass jingles, but they're like either machine or hand hammered, which I think is cool. Dries out the sound just a little bit, um, gives it a nice look, um, and uh, it's got a ply shell. It's got a nice lacquer to it, um, and it just, to me, this tambourine uh, is, is so on par craftsmanship-wise with the rest of the Black Swamp products. Um, comes in this box like this, as their other stuff does as well. Um, if you're nerdy like me, you like to keep this stuff in the bag and then also in the box so that you don't lose stuff like this. So uh, we're going to take a listen to all this stuff. Uh, I've done a couple groove things to incorporate all of it, but we're also going to listen to them individually. So let's do that. So what do you think of this Overture series from Black Swamp? Entry level or affordable? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you turn on notifications and subscribe to Steve Weiss Music on YouTube, and we'll see you next time.